What are some necessary street smarts that everyone needs to know? Don't wear your headphones and hoodie up in dodgy areas so no one can easily sneak up on you. Don't wear a visibly expensive watch. If someone asks you the time don't take out your phone. Don't take your phone out unless absolutely necessary. Texting can be done with your back to a wall where you can see people approaching. Don't be on Facebook while walking. Make sure you can pay attention to your surroundings. If you're wearing an expensive suit and someone asks you for money, say sorry but you're going to a job interview. Instantly you're not a rich mark. Dress down. Jeans and a leather jacket. Wear gloves if possible, and avoid touching things in a city context. Wash your hands before eating something. Don't spend too much time looking at gambling games or street performers. They are often used as a distraction while you get pickpocketed. Always walk along the road in the opposite direction in which cars travel, so you can see a drunk driver coming and dodge. If hassled be polite, but keep walking and don't stop. Keep to the right and don't stop in the middle of a busy pavement. Stay in well lit areas, follow your gut instincts about the safety of a new place. If you know a shortcut that's good in the day, it might not be safe at night. Keep everything in your front pockets. Look both ways before coming out of a doorway. If you think you're in a bad neighborhood, think you're being followed, go down the block, make a left, make a left, make a left. You eventually come full circle. If the same person is behind you, you're definitely being followed. Be confident and walk tall. Bad guys typically try to pick on the weak. Typically if you're not scared, they think there's a good reason for that, i.e. packing heat. If you're going to go drinking, have a plan to get home. If you're at home and drinking, don't go anywhere. My brother and literally all of his friends had do this because they all did the same dumb thing and tried to drive after drinking. You'd think they'd learn their lesson after the first couple, but they're a uniquely stupid bunch. If you are on the bad side of town, walk like you are really pissed off. Thieves target the people who look weak, the guy who slumped over and looks tired. You are a less likely target if you look aggressive. Profiling a group of people is illegal for groups like that sap. Profiling a group of people when walking alone or when on public transportation might save your life. Don't pat yourself down to check your wallet slash phone slash etc. If you hear someone yell they've been robbed, people are likely watching to see who has their valuables in an easy to grab location for pickpockets and the victim is a plant to make people check. If you ever encounter a hostile situation, do not fight unless you absolutely have to, such as your life is in danger and you have no means of escaping. No matter what training you have or weapons you may carry altercations in the street often have completely unforeseeable outcomes. Avoid them if at all possible. If going to a sketchy location, try to bring a decoy wallet and decoy phone to give up. If you get mugged, if carrying cash, don't keep it all in one location. Like all $100 in your wallet, keep half in one location, wallet, and half in the other, coat pocket. If you get pickpocketed, you're less likely to lose all your cash. If someone tries to rob or abduct you, and tells you to keep quiet, and do what they say, don't. Scream as loud as you can, and try to run away. Aggressors don't expect their victims to go off script. If you are screaming for help, allegedly it's better to yell fire, as opposed to I'm being mugged slash kidnapped slash etc. If you feel like you are being followed, turn around and ask the person following you if they have the time. You will be able to see their face, which makes them less likely to attack you. This will also help you identify them in a lineup slash give a description to the police if they do attack you. If you feel like you are being followed and there are stores, coffee shops or areas that anyone can enter that are full of people go into their aggressors are less likely to attack in a crowd and they may stop following you. If you are using a moving truck to move, like a U-Haul, don't keep anything valuable in the cab compartment. Those trucks are magnets for theft as they don't have alarms. The thief knows you aren't from area. They also know you will be transporting all your stuff. And overall it's an easy crime. Also the insurance you buy from the moving rental company doesn't cover anything in there. We had over $8,000 in items and cash stolen from our moving truck this way. We stopped to get a bite to eat at a famous place in a bad area. We were gone for 15 minutes and the truck got robbed. 
Always have your keys out and ready when heading to your car, as opposed to in a purse slash backpack slash padding pocket CTC. Unlock your car, get in, lock your car immediately. This is especially important at night or lower traffic areas. If something feels off, go back inside and call security slash the police slash a big friend to walk you to your car. If you're waiting on a train platform, stand at the back of the platform with your back against the wall. You don't literally have to be touching the wall, just close to it. I studied abroad in London, and we got a safety lecture on one of the first days from a police officer. He said one of the easiest ways to get your pocket picked was to stand right at the front of the platform, where anyone can walk right behind you without attracting your notice. This is especially important if you're wearing a backpack or have a bag slung behind you. Look up and be aware of where you are walking. I live in a big university town and once a week I get the text alerts that some shat freshman was robbed because none of them possess spatial awareness. If it's 2.30 am and you're listening to your iPod and playing on your iPhone while walking alone in near darkness, you're gonna get robbed. Also, it's rude. So many people do this in the middle slash wrong way of the sidewalk and don't even look up. I just check em at this point. Stuff that my father told me to never do. He died recently, so I decided to pass this down. Playing the clarinet badly waving your flashlight back and forth really fast eating or holding cubed cheese. Sliced cheese is safe stomping around. They'd consider it a challenge wearing a hoop skirt wearing clown shoes wearing a sombrero in a goofy fashion. Such as upside down or tilted, but in either way, would likely offensive for them. Screeching like a chimpanzee running from a sea bear, might show. Cowardness that would provoke them to attack you again, if they mauled you once. Limping from a sea bear, might also show cowardness, that worse than running, crawling away from a sea bear, might also show cowardness, that provoke them to brutally maul you more than either when running or limping, drawing ovals in the dirt, dirt ovals can't protect against sea bears. Do not walk around with your phone out, if someone asks you the time, do not take your phone out, don't wear expensive jewelry, keep your purse close to your body, keep your phone it and bank card in your bra slash pocket if your bag gets snatched they won't get much if someone points a gun at you throw your item at them and run your life is more valuable than your bag if you see someone stealing something pretend you didn't see it and don't talk to the cops especially in areas of gang violence do not stop and talk to strangers keep walking and ignore them no matter what they say don't stare at weirdos look straight ahead do not give money to anyone, no matter how sad the story is. Keep a whistle on your keychain and it's better to yell fire than help. People are more likely to run out for a fire. Be on good terms with your neighbors, you want them to have your back. If your home is in a bad neighborhood, get a larger dog with a loud bark. If a stranger asks if it bites always say yes, and he doesn't like strangers. Carry pepper spray on your keychain. Pull your head out of your ass, smartphone and pay attention to your surroundings. Yes, that guy is sizing you up. Keep an eye on him. Yes, that cute girl is trying to get you to expose your valuables so that first guy can grab them. Everyone is against you. Pay fucking attention. One that I follow when traveling in a foreign country is never take the first taxi that you encounter at a train station, bus terminal, airport, or border crossing. The drivers try to take advantage of your disorientation by hustling you quickly into the taxi and oftentimes they'll end up taking you a ride, literally, to rack up extra charges. Better to carry your stuff a little ways down the street and solicit the driver yourself and ask them how much it will cost before committing. If you're concerned about home defense don't buy a gun first. You probably don't know how to use it and statistically it's more likely to kill you or a family member if you don't. Plus any bad guy in your house already has an advantage. You are much safer if the bad guy doesn't get in your house in the first place. First get an alarm system and upgrade your locks. Even consider a big dog. Only then get a gun and for god's sake learn how to use it and store it safely. If someone in their car waits and lets you walk across, give them a little thank you wave. If no wave is given, they have the right to run you over. If you are in a car and someone is waiting to cross in front of you, wave them across. 
If you don't wave them across and just sit there, they have a right to kick out your headlight. The waves are important people. If you're traveling in a foreign country, drunkenly walking around at night and an attractive woman comes out of the dark, starts talking to you, and fondling your genitals, there's a solid chance she's actually a he, and stole the money from your wallet, while you were distracted. Source, happened to someone I know, and that someone is me. If you're in a major city, and there's nobody out in the streets after dark, you're either in a nice residential area, or you're in the hood. The local decor should clue you in. If you see takeaway restaurants with wall-to-wall, -wall, counter to ceiling bulletproof glass, you should probably go to another part of town. If there's a church, liquor store, check cashing place and a pawn shop all on the same block, you should also probably reconsider where you're hanging out. If you see fried chicken restaurants named after presidents other than Kennedy or states other than Kentucky, you're probably pretty deep in the hood. Check your rear view mirror frequently while driving. If you suspect after a time that someone is following you, do not go home. Years ago I had some asshole try and follow me home from a job site. He tried being really slick about it, but after several miles it was obvious. I deliberately went to a big retail chain knowing they had tons of cameras. He parked an aisle away, and then followed me inside. It was creepy as fuck watching him look for me as he entered the store. Luckily the manager took me seriously, and I was escorted to my vehicle, while he was still inside. Fortunately there was a police officer parked near my vehicle, when I left the store, and I was able to get help. The following advice is for men as it probably wouldn't work as well for women. Any time that you're at an ATM, and you feel very uncomfortable with a person behind you, act as if your wife, pretend to have one if you don't, withdrew most or all of the money from that account. Act enraged, slam your open hand against the wall, and start cursing about your wife. Do whatever it takes to make your anger believable. Doing this will drastically reduce your likelihood of being a victim, because you will no longer appear to be a source of money, and seldom will a guy be messed with who's already in an angry disposition. If you're being sexually assaulted don't scream rape, scream fire. Also if you're being attacked, and a group of people are watching, don't just scream help, scream you in the fill in the blank, of what a person's wearing help. The bystander effect is real. Hi, I'm from around Detroit. 1. If it feels sketchy, bail. It's not hard to pick up on sketchy vibes. Other buildings in disrepair slash abandoned, but there's still people around. Are they watching you intently? Furthermore, why the fuck are you even there in the first place? Get a GPS, pencil neck. That's really about it. So many of these stories I read about people getting jacked slash mugged, could have been easily avoided, by staying away from blatantly obvious trouble. I, a guy, regularly walked around Detroit at 2 in the morning with lipstick, and crushed velvet on, goth kid, and never had any more trouble than my car getting broken into, and even then it was, because I left valuables visible in it. If you come out to your parked car, and start to back out, but see a flyer has been stuck to your back window, obstructing your view, don't just hop out to take it off. Bad guy may be waiting a few steps away, ready to jump in your car, and you've just served it to him with the door open and the engine running. Once a random guy walked up to me, and asked where you from, in a strangely aggressive manner. I had no idea what to say. Should I say what country I come from? The town I grew up on. Where I used to live a year ago. Or should I just tell him where I live? For now let's call that place Hovel. After much thought I answer I'm from Hovel. To which he responded that's right homie Hovel 11. And he did some weird sign language with his hands. I was so confused. But I went along with it. A few months later. I come to realize. That it was a gang member asking what gang I was from. And I luckily answered an area to which his gang belonged to. I completely dodged a bullet there. This also explains why the two girls that were standing next to me at the time of questioning looked at me with surprise and somewhat of admiration. They thought I was a complete gangster. Hahaha. <laughs> Walk at a speed that's not fast enough to make people think you're following them, but also fast enough so that anybody trying to catch up with you is noticeable. This speed is about 4 miles per hour. If you're visibly underweight or slender, wear puffy or baggy clothes. Your weight makes you a potential target due to perceived weakness, but certain items of clothing can mask your size. If someone asks you for the time, you don't own a watch. 
If someone asks you for a cigarette, you don't smoke. If you comply and show them your watch slash phone slash wallet slash handbag, that's the best possible time for them to steal any one of those items. Notice they are all valuable? If you're going to be walking through an area, any area, including your neighborhood, on your own and get researching, you might be surprised at the sheer number of murders, rapes, armed robberies or drug busts there have been in a small area. Note down the exact locations of incidents, and avoid them if possible. If an area has a general dodgy feel to it then it should be safe at daytime stay away at night, if you feel more comfortable doing so. Also, look out for any serious ratas that have happened. If you're walking through an accident black spot then just be very alert. Source, paper boy in moderately rough area.